Hi guys, VST here, Velatrix Tech. This time I'm gonna show you guys how you can install the blood pressure and the ECG on your beloved Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and of course also the Watch 3. And why this actually is new? Because you know I did already a video like this. Why this is new? Because I'm running here the latest Tizen. And we all know that there's been a problem. So I'm just gonna show you guys. If I go here to software info, we can see that the Tizen version here is 5501. And we all know that it didn't really run too well, like almost actually nothing. And you had to go and download and change and put here a South Korean firmware. And then you had a problem with Samsung Pay. Now I have Samsung Pay working. I have also here the blood pressure. Just gonna show you guys. So hit measure, you hit OK. It will start working. I also have here the ECG. Okay, when you hit the ECG, and you just hold it like this, rest your finger lightly on the top of the watch, it's gonna start working. And I do also have like, if I just hold the button here, you see Samsung Pay is of course starting to work. And of course the best thing about this is when I go here into the Samsung Health application, you know, we can see we have the blood pressure readings, we have the ECG. So all of that right now works into this latest Tizen. I'm thinking I'm using the US firmware and I'm also using the guide here that is shown on the XDA forum. I'm gonna simplify this a bit guys and show you the process, all the steps that you need to do. I'm not gonna redo it and reinstall it on my watch cause I don't wanna get my readings erased or something like that. But I'm just going to give you like some nice direction and I'm going to put also all the files that you need to download into one very big pack so that you can download it easily from the internet. So you need Java for Windows offline 64 bit. You need the Java SE Oracle JDK, right? So you need to just go there and click, but don't do this because I'm gonna give you guys everything into one big zip file. And it's gonna be here in the video description in the link below. You then need to download the latest version with Tizen SDK with the either installer version. And then of course you need to download the ECG TPK, the BBTPK, the fit installer, and then the Samsung Health Monitor. And I'm gonna again put everything here in one big file. So we have here the ECG downloads. We have the first Java, the second Java file. We have here the Samsung Health Monitor. So it's gonna be a big file guys, but again, it's gonna save you some time, right? So once you have downloaded this file from my video description, you know, we pretty much are following the guide from XDA. Shout out to those guys, it's a very nice guide. And of course, the main thing, it is really working. So make sure first that you install the first JDK, then you install the second JRE. Once you're done with the Java things, guys, then you need to install the Tizen Studio, okay? A very important step. Now, once you installed the Tizen Studio, guys, we need to do some things on the watch. So just go here into the settings, okay? Then just go about watch. And then you need to go here to software information. And then on the software version, you need to type several times, okay? Developer mode, turn on. Then hit the button, go back, okay? When you're back, guys, just go at the bottom here and you need to make sure that debugging is turned on. So eventually it's gonna be like this, debugging on, and you need to make sure that this is really turned on, okay? Very important step. So we need to enable developer's option and make sure also that the debugging is turned on. Now the next step here, guys, we're gonna get, of course, to the PC. The next step is to start package manager. So you just open your prompt here and you type package manager. It's all part of the Tizen, okay? Now we need to do some downloads and it may take maybe 15, 20, 25 minutes. It really depends on your broadband connection, etc. So this process can take some time, loading package information. Okay, very important, pay attention. There are not so much steps, right? And they're not so complicated, but you need to follow the process. And I'm just gonna explain the process, guys. The process really is for you to create your own certificates with the Samsung Tizen Studio and then use these certificates to sign the blood pressure and ECG applications. They were not longer working on the latest version of Tizen without the signatures, right? So once you're in the Tizen package manager, guys, need sure that you go to 5.5 variable, press install, okay? Right, this is very, very important. And also guys, 
press here install button on the Tizen SDK tools, okay? When you do so, you're gonna see, see some information. They're going to start downloading themselves, all right? So two important things here, make sure that you download the Tizen SDK tools and also that you download the 5.5 wearable because of course this is what we have here on our beloved watches. Then go to the second tab, which is the extension SDK, okay? Two important things here, download the Samsung certificate extension and also download here the Samsung wearable extension, okay? You can of course pay attention here on the progress bar. Don't close the package manager before this has happened, okay? This is very, very important, guys. You need to wait again. I think I waited probably like 25, 30 minutes. Everything here should be 100%. Then, okay, you can close this one. And the next thing we're going to need to do is to create this certificate. For that one, you're gonna need, of course, a phone. You're gonna need your Samsung account, and you have to type inside here into your search bar. Just type certificate manager. Again, it's all part of the Tizen Studio. The certificate manager will start. Okay, we need to create a new profile. Okay, so just press the plus button here. Then you need to choose Samsung. Okay, choose mobile wearable, press next, and here create a new certificate profile. Let's say just type here test, press next again press next again, auto name, okay, press test. And here guys, you need to put a password, all right? So let's put test, okay, to test. Let me just put it again, test, to test, okay? And now let's press next, okay? And this is a very important step, guys. You need to sign in into your Samsung account. So press okay here, all right? You cannot skip this step, guys. You need to do so. I'm about to sign in with my account, okay? Very important right now, guys, you see, congratulations, your new author certificate is located and it's actually here in C users, your username, Samsung certificate, and then into the test folder. Now, very important, just press next, okay? Choose create a new distributor certificate, don't do anything, press next again. And here, guys, here we need to stop, right? Don't do anything, stop. And now you need to go back here and you need to type device manager, right? But not the Windows one, the one from the Tizen. Because right now we need to connect to our watch and I'll show you guys what you need to do. Okay, right now we are into the device manager. So you need to go here and here actually is the remote device manager and you need to go here for any connection. Okay, you can press here that one and then add it manually. The IP address from your watch, you can take it here from the connections. So apparently if you go here, okay, let me just show it. I'm gonna do it with you guys. We're gonna go into the connections, okay? Then we're gonna go to Wi-Fi. You need to also make sure that the Wi-Fi is always on, okay? Now, once the watch is connected to the Wi-Fi, guys, I'm gonna let you know how you can see the IP address. Okay, finding IP address. Now my watch is connecting to my Wi-Fi network, okay? So once I'm there, you hit here the Wi-Fi network, okay? And then you just scroll down and you see the IP address, okay? And here you'll be able to just add the IP address and then just the port is the same. And once you have this right now, okay, you can just do like this. And then apparently you should be able to see a message on your watch, okay, you see? Can we allow this connection from the PC, etc.? In the guide, they're saying that you need a Wi-Fi connection, but my PC is running on a cable connection. It still does the work, okay? So right now I have the Tizen device manager connected to my watch, and you can see by all this happening down below. All right, guys, and now a very important trick. Once you have this connection with your watch, you can see here you have the wearable, you have the device name, you have the port and also the IP, but then you can also see when you go back to the creation of the certificate, you're gonna see here that there is a UID code, all right? It's absolutely unique, right? So it's absolutely there. Don't do anything, just press next here, okay? Press next, wait a bit, and now actually the Samsung Tizen software certificate creation will create your new certificate, okay? So you can see where your certificate is, is located, press finish, your new certificate profile has been successfully created. This certificate profile has been set as active. Okay, very nice. And now you can see you get this very nice window with some official information. It's verified by the Samsung Alter Certificate Authority class, so absolutely legit. And now we need to do one thing, guys. You need to go to the folder that I actually showed you. All the files are there. Inside, there's gonna be something called ECG downloads. So this ECG downloads, guys, you just need to extract it, right? So just extract it to the folder. And inside you're gonna see, we have the blood pressure TPK, we have the ECG TPK, and we have the Fit to Installer. 
take the fit to install it guys and put it onto the desktop so you should have like your desktop and then this fit to install a folder okay now open a new prompt okay and now navigate to the path where the samsung certificate has been created in my case is c drive is users is my username and then we see a folder called samsung certificate inside there is a folder called test and inside are all my certificates just select all of them Control c copy them go back to the desktop and the fit installer folder into the third folder and paste them there okay very very important now guys the second step here again go back to the previous folder that I show you, right, that I actually uploaded for you guys. Just take both BP and ECG, Control C, and then you need to put them here into Sign Me, okay? Now, those apps right now are not signed. And actually what we're doing, guys, we have already put all the certificate information into the cert. We put the apps that we need to be signed with our certificate into the Sign Me folder. And now, guys, what we're gonna do actually is just run the sign bed, okay? You see, I'm just, entering the sign bed and right now here you should put the password for your certificate that we used when we created our certificate this is my password okay you see setting configuration is succeeded and etc and etc the first bpk tpk is created successfully the ecj tpk is created successfully then press any key to continue boom press enter and now we're going to go back into the desktop where we have the thing to install a folder and into the install me you're going to see these two tpks that are signed now very important guys how will those tpks go on your phone very easy you just go back here to the device manager right you're gonna open the device manager you're gonna hit the right button here right mouse button on the device install up and you're gonna navigate here to these two applications from the folder install me and just select them one by one and install them on the watch right it's as simple as that guys okay and there is something else very important i wanted to share with you actually the bpk tpk that was included here did not really work for me so i had to do some reading and i eventually found a workaround there is a person on next day who apparently was changing something into the bpk tpk into the xml inside that kind of allows the bpk tpk to be installed right so i'm just going to give you guys the modified working blood pressure that works on the tizen 5.5.0.1 right so we're going to have it all from me once these two applications guys are going to be on your watch you're going to be see them here as new application right and then only one last step guys there is something called the Samsung Health Monitor latest version is 175 it's created by Atri I'm gonna give you also this APK make sure that you bring this APK to your phone install it and then it's going to be very very easy guys so you know you just need to run it you just need to then calibrate your blood pressure and you know just doing this together with the phone and with the watch and it's going to be as simple as that once you have the bpk that is fixed once you have assigned the bpk once you have signed the ecg it's going to be very very easy for you to install the signed bp tpk and the signed ecg tpk from the device manager guys just by doing that and enjoy really the full power now of the Samsung Galaxy Active Watch 2 with the latest Tizen, of course. The only thing that we cannot still bring to work is the blood oxygen, right? SpO2, it's a widget, it's not really a separate CPK, doesn't work right now. People are still working on that one. If you have any questions about the process, guys, just hit me up directly into the comments. If I can help you, I will do this, right? I'm not letting down my viewers, guys. I'm putting this guide because been a bit complicated and actually there is also like a bit of an extended guide inside right so if you look in the xta there is an even more full guide i think this full guide in here is created by xxsd it's really all these steps and i just wanted to make this video guys to show you what you need to do again it's not very complex right you need to remember first to download all the files that i'm going to put into a link for you install the two java files install the tizen with everything you need to do make sure that then you start to create your certificate at some point connect to your watch of course developer settings on the watch enabled in debugging mode once you get the uad finalize the certificate creation once you have your certificates you just need to use them to sign the both apps with the sign bed and as simple as that guys i really hope that you're gonna enjoy this video but i wanted to make this video and to let you know that this thing works again hope that you can manage this with the information that i have provided and with that said guys vst over and bye we're gonna catch up in my next video